Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss PUC 18 vector or, or as it is also called by some people PAC 18 vector. So PUC 18 vector is one of the most common use, commonly used vectors in genetic engineering to generate recombinant DNA molecules. So likewise we have already discussed PBR 322 vector which is also one of the most commonly used vector in genetic engineering in our previous video. So if you haven't watched that I request you to go and watch that vector also. So now, coming to PUC18 vector, what does the word P in PUC18 means? Now this small p in PUC18 stands for the word plasmid. So this means that this is a plasmid vector. The next two letters signifies the city or the place where the vector was originally discovered. Here UC stands for University of California. So University of California was the institution or the place where this vector was first synthesized artificially and 18 distinguishes this number distinguishes this plasmid vector from the other plasmid vectors developed in the same lab so now coming to the size of the plasmid vector so as you can see the size of the plasmid vector is around 2.7 kb that means around 2700 base pairs okay so now this vector possesses a, an ampicillin resistance gene so this ampicillin resistance gene can be used as a selectable marker to identify our positive clothes now if you have watched our previous video on PBR322 PBR322 possesses an ampicillin resistance gene along with our tetracycline resistance gene designated as tetar but here unlike in PBR322 here PUC18 possesses only ampicillin resistance gene but no tetar resistance gene or no tetracycline resistance gene. So this point needs to be uh, noted down that PBR322 contains both ampicillin and tetracycline resistance genes but PUC18 contains only ampicillin resistance gene and no tetracycline resistance gene. So what does it have? Okay in place of tetracycline resistance gene PUC18 has another feature ok in place of tetracycline resistance gene apart from having ampicillin resistance gene which is lag z so as you can see this is the lag z gene and this codes for the enzyme beta galactosidase which is involved in the breaking of lactose breaking down of lactose so this lag z codes for enzymes beta galactosidase which helps in the breakdown of lactose so in place of tetracycline resistance gene PUC18 has this lag z gene apart from that every vector is to contain an origin of replication so this is the origin of replication in case of PUC18 now this origin of replication is actually derived from another artificially made plasmid vector which is PBR322 now this lag z gene that I have talked about that is present in PBR PUC18 vector uniquely this lag z gene is derived from E. coli chromosome as we have already studied lacoperon so it operates in E. coli so what did the scientists do they excise that lag z gene from the E. coli chromosome and they have inserted this into the PUC18 vector so two things you need to remember number one this is that this origin of replication of PUC18 vector is derived from another artificially made vector which is PBR322 and another thing is that the lag z gene which is placed which is present uniquely in PUC18 vector and is not present in any other vector okay so this lag z gene is derived from the E. coli chromosome now this lag z gene in order to be functional needs to have a promoter and an operator like the lag operon that we know so this lag z gene contains a lag promoter as well as a lag operator so this is the lag promoter as you can see located upstream of the lag z gene and somewhere within the lag z gene you will have the lag operator region okay so now there are certain MCS or multiple cloning sites or sometimes uh, MCS is also called as polylinker region. Now this MCS or the polylinker region 
is located within the Laxate gene. Okay, it is located within the Laxate gene downstream of the the, the promoter of the lacoperon, and it is located within the Laxate gene. And this MCS of the polylinker region contains a number of restriction site for a number of restriction enzymes. So these are the sites for the restriction enzymes by which you can cleave this PV uh, this PUC18 vector and you can insert here any of your gene of interest and thus you can generate a recombinant DNA molecule. So the place where you can insert, where you can cut and insert your gene of interest is this multiple cloning site of the polylinker region that is present exclusively within the lag Z region of the P uh, PUC18 vector. So remember this polylinker region or the MCS region this is located exclusively within the lag Z region. So this is very important. And one of the main uses of this PUC18 vector is in blue white screening. We will have a separate video on blue white screening. What is blue white screening? How is it used? But one thing for the timing, remember blue white screening is a test in which you can identify the recombinant clones from the non-recombinant ones. And it is because of this presence of lag Z gene and subsequent coding for the enzyme beta galactosidase that actually helps in the selection of recombinants from the non-recombinant ones, which is the principle behind blue white screening. So blue white screening the principle blue white screening is aided because of the presence of this lag Z gene. It is because of this presence of this lag Z gene that we can perform the blue white screening with this PUC18 vector.